said, I'm Justin Harris. What's going on, guys? I'm uh, Steve Kukolo. Hey, guys. I'm um, Jeff Tuwali. Every two hours when you eat, you have a chance to, to make yourself a better bodybuilder or make yourself a worse bodybuilder. You know, bodybuilding shows aren't one on the day of the show. Uh, they're one in the, in the months or the, the years uh, leading up to that show. When the you eat 600 grams of, of uh, protein in a single meal, you'll digest every, you'll absorb every milligram of that 600 grams. Now, whether those 600 grams are utilized as amino acids to, to stimulate protein synthesis in the muscle is different. But that's, overtraining is probably on the list of things to worry about towards the bottom, you know. I mean, it's you know, like, I, you know, I think about other sports, you know, I could have been a great basketball player, but I just worked too hard. So. <laughs> To, to have have the, the show you want to do and have it be far enough out that you give yourself enough time to have an off season somewhat to kind of train for that show, not necessarily go from just kind of normal training and then bam, start dieting. You know, that's one mistake a lot of people people make. And then you know, uh, what 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 I believe in uh, personally is um, I, I certainly don't believe in starting with with two hours of cardio. I, I think contest prep is is a progression. Um, and I'm sure Steve would have a lot to say about that. <laughs> um, uh, and, and I've done uh, both styles. I've done uh, I've done a carb rotation style that, that dictated uh, high intensity, uh, short term cardio, and then I've done a, a keto style of dieting, which was uh, long long sessions of uh, of low intensity cardio. So I you don't really want to train. So there's that fine line, kind of, to where is cardio coming in to affect your training so much? And with training, in, in essence, is what made you what you are. And, you know. Uh, resistance training so you kind of got to balance it out a little bit I mean at the end of the day on stage really muscle doesn't really matter that much you you can have you can have tons of muscle if you're fat you're not going to win a show right? you just finished the nationals correct mm -hmm. uh, what do you think went wrong this year uh, where, where questions I have about kind of my recent show the nationals what went wrong um, get thin skin even for someone who's thick skin like me or thick skin like Steve you can thin out your skin on a keto diet there's there's no doubt and you can lose body fat it, it I do think it comes at some sort of a trade at some level uh, depending on how long you can retain glycogen and how long you can handle the dieting because it was difficult for me to train to be honest I mean I was doing two hours of cardio a day and then not really eating anything and subsisting on shakes and, and some protein and I really didn't get a whole lot done. Um, so, but again, I've seen different people like Greg who can still train and still be big and still be full. And uh, it kind of goes back to, to an earlier question where I, I just feel like uh, you've got to find the, the right system for you. It, it you, take your, you take your bicep, but only about 30% of your bicep is actual contractile tissue, you know, at myosin act and actual muscle tissue. If you dehydrate it out, I mean, look at beef jerky, that's the actual amount of actual tissue per area. The rest of it is water, glycogen, carbs being stored, and blood volume. You know, if you could double the amount of blood vessels and double the amount of blood going through those blood vessels in your bicep, it's going to add size to your bicep. And that's something, the iron that can, that can, uh, that can be increased with, with snake, but that's about it, really.